Hey YouTubers, this is Old John. I'm going to make a video today on replacing my hatchback struts on my wife's Prius. It's a 2004 and so these struts are about 15 years old and they've been needing replacement for quite some time. They're about $15. I'll provide the information here on the screen. Um, came in this plastic bag and then these these um, bags here that are padded, nice padded bags. So of course the first thing we need to do is take off the existing ones which have really started to fail for some time. Here's the my wife's Prius 2004. Okay, as you see, it doesn't want to open all the way. And when they act that way, you know the these are bad. Okay, they have a little metal clip here you have to pull out. So I need a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver for that. Excuse the traffic noise out there. I've got the screwdriver underneath the clip. Now I'll just pop it off, I think. There it goes. So I'm going to go right back on the other one. Okay, the bottom has a clip on it also. So it pops off there. Get some pressure on it. And the other one obviously wouldn't hold it, so you need to put something underneath to brace it. Okay, so I brace the hatchback with a just a broom handle pretty much. Let's get some of the gunk off here. I don't know if that lead needs a little bit of grease or not on it. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, you want to slide the clip on the very top edge. And then I'm going to try to put this down in the bottom. And then <clears throat> push the clip completely down. Put these little grooves they go all the way to the top but they get skinnier at the top it's going to take two hands so 
I'm going to put this on there and then push on the clip and or pull on it and try to get it completely engaged. Okay, so I got it all the way on. Now it's locked on. I'll have that on, then I'll start the top one. And there again, slide it in these screws because they're getting more narrow. Okay, I was able to I was able to push it all the way down, and I used used a big screwdriver. So I'll do the other one. If you look on the inside, I don't know if you can see this or not, but you can see the the bottom parts of the clip how they're they're projecting into the housing there. So before we put them on, we need to retract those clips, and you do that by sliding them up towards the top of the ball. Okay, I've slid the clip up. So now should be able to put it on the bottom. Okay, so I've got both clips up. And if you look inside, you can see they're not interfering the inside. So now we should be able to slide them on. We've got the bottom on. Now I just have to slide the clip down on the top. And I'm using a big screwdriver for that. You heard that snap that was it locking in place. Okay. Let's take the stick out and see what happens. So far, so good. Okay, here's a real test. My wife's going to try to open it. There she goes. She only has to open it a little bit, and it goes up completely on its own. See if she can pull it down though, because it's pretty tight. She got it. Let's see her do it one more time. Just lift it up just enough to let it go on up by itself. <laughs> yes, that's much better. Old John signing off. If you like this video, give me a like. Click on the bell so you can get notifications of future videos. I have a lots of 250. To a DIY videos, I'll show my playlist after this too. Old John signing off. Here's my channel. I have lots of playlists. I'll show you here. Um, I do solar systems. I have some spirituality, um, John Deere, mower videos, getting rid of pests in the lawn. Um, Nordic track repairs, computer repairs, and reviews of purchases like this laptop I'm showing this video on, review of my Generac power washer and use of it, other power equipment that I get, uh, wood projects. I built a nice um, center here for the TV and so forth. Um, I have landscape lights, refrigerator repairs, generator hookup and maintenance, and then other interior electrical wiring and so forth projects, also lawn projects, so um, lawn equipment and so forth. So uh, if you're interested, um, click on the bell and subscribe and give me any comments on any other type of videos you'd like to see also. This is Old John signing out.